सो आई एम उज्ज्वल कुमार सैन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग उज्ज्वल कुमार सैन यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइज एक्चुअली आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर क्रिएटिंग दिस वीडियो बिकॉज यू पीपल रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू क्रिएट अ वीडियो इन इंग्लिश नॉट इन हिंदी सो बेसिकली टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू द स्ट्रेटेजी यू मस्ट फॉलो टू क्रैक सीबीटी वन एंड वन थिंग इज प्रिटी क्लियर दैट इज वर्ट हाउ मच मार्क्स यू आर गोइंग टू स्कोर इन सीबीटी वन इट विल नॉट मैटर द मैटर इज दैट यू हैव टू क्वालिफाई इवन इट विल नॉट कंसिडर फॉर फाइल एंड सिलेक्शन सो वट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर यूर सेल्फ इन दैट वे यू कैन क्रैक दिस एग्जाम आई मीन सीबीटी वन राइट देन इफ यू हैव टाइम then you must start preparation for cvt2 also according to your respective subject if you are mechanical engineering you must uh, go for mechanical one if you are a civil go for civil one if you are electrical engineer go for electrical one got it another most important thing now let's come back to cvt1 suppose that you wanted to start your preparation from scratch right and one here is the difficult problem for you because there are very less tutorials in english regarding rb j e c v t 1 right and uh, there are a lot of tutorials in hindi well i am planning for that that's why i can provide you some good uh, tutorial good video tutorial regarding uh, regarding c v t 1 that's why you can do better right but yes till that time you have to wait because i don't have that much time to create videos in hindi as well as in english right if you understand hindi then you can watch my videos of physics one right i, I have already almost i have completed ninth class as well as 10th class for general science right and also i have videos of aptitude there are more than 950 videos on this particular channel right well that is not matter you can search on youtube there are lot of lot of uh, lots of videos right on youtube regarding education but yeah let's come back to cvt1 preparation regarding rrb je 2019 right so basically there are four parts right and uh, most of the part uh, uh, captured by general science and uh, mathematics so general intelligence and awareness they are capturing 40% and mathematics as well as general i mean uh, general science they are capturing 60% so general awareness general awareness capturing only 15 marks general aptitude and reasoning only capturing 25 marks right so there are 25 marks mean 25 questions 25 questions 15 marks means 15 questions you cannot leave general awareness most important thing is that i am starting from that general awareness you must get a book and you must have syllabus of all the four parts that's why uh, you know you can come to know what topics you have done and what topics you have to do right prepare your own notes right for each and every part for mathematics also for general awareness also for general intelligence also for general science also right and most important thing is that start writing where you are starting it's talking but means uh, where you are facing problem you must start writing that yeah this is the place where i am facing problem i must have to work in this place that's why you will get better one thing is very clear one secret to get uh, well in any topic any difficult topic start reading that topic with your heart and using your brain with 100% focus if you'll do that for five times if you'll read that topic five times you will become familiar with that topic this is my challenge to you just do this for any topic in which in which you think that this topic is difficult this topic is not for me just do that topic and in entire day read at least five times that topic you will become familiar super familiar that difficult topics which topic you think that this that that topic is difficult if you'll read that topic five times with proper concentration that topic will become easier for you this is my personal experience let me tell you an interesting story actually one topic in that topic i was really uh, felt that yeah this topic is difficult this topic is not for me but yes unfortunately when i have started teaching in 2012 i uh, suddenly i have seen oh my god i have to teach this topic in to, i mean in my class tomorrow and in that class i have around 65 students and those i mean uh, in 2012 i was about uh, 22 21 years old and in that university students were also like the same i mean 20 18 19 19 20 years old so same age student are there right so you have to teach them now think about this how you can prepare yourself to teach, to teach them right so i took only 2 hours because everything on me 
so i have i have i, I at the time i did not have any video tutorials i have uh, watched some tutorials from uh, other universities mit or maybe nptel i i forgot but yes i have anyhow i did not get good response from um, from their their channel also i mean i did not get good content so but anyhow i after reading the book after reading the book would you believe what i thought oh this is really simple this is not difficult even i taught them in that way everybody in that class those who wanted to understand the topic they understood and that top from that topic they got one question in the examination and almost all of them uh, attempted that question with uh, proper i mean uh, properly they have attempted and they got marks for that question because i have check copies say right? so what why i am telling you this because this is this is an interesting uh, i mean interesting thing happened in my life so from that time i thought there is nothing like a hard topic or um, or a, say or you know easy topic it is on you if you if yeah there are some things where you have to put more focus and you have to put more time you have to put more effort but yes if you do anything right way if you are thinking yes i have to do this then that difficult thing will become quite easier for you it is on you it is it's on you it's your thinking it's your mindset nothing else right well let's come back to cvt1 now suppose that you starting from scratch okay if you are studying from scratch that means you are starting from complete beginning you, let's say you have zero knowledge about any subject now what you have to do don't read from pdf i mean don't totally depend on pdf you must have book you can buy second hand book i mean it's really cheap right and for general science you can get books from uh, from your neighborhood i mean you can uh, just contact them in 9th class or in class 12th you can borrow their books and you can prepare your own notes don't download any notes and start studying you can download notes for reference for any topic for understanding one topic not for all the topics you must prepare your own notes for all the subjects for all the facts for all the topics got it now after reading suppose i preparing one topic read that topic go through some questions in that book and then what you should do you should uh, practice few previous year questions for book list you can see below right i mean i have put there all the books for almost all subjects all branches so doesn't matter uh, in which in which uh, to which branch you are belonging it will it, it's not matter matter is that uh, you just need to go through that link you will find that link in the description even you can get uh, uh you know my telegram channel link there are more than 2000 students now those are preparing for rbj so that's really great i mean uh, here numbers are huge not very small right so guys what you have to do you have to just uh, plan yourself that yeah, i yeah, have i have to prepare like this right well many of you ask me that uh, what should be my timetable that's why i can prepare and uh, should i wake up uh, i mean get up early 4 o'clock something like that but personally said <laughs> i did not wake up 4 uh, o'clock till now except i did not have uh, my flight or even uh, train right so <laughs> so i did not wake up till now so you know for the study purpose especially right even i have exam tomorrow i will not wake up because what i think that uh, yeah you must put yourself first yeah this is me and this is what i can do right yeah if you'll wake up early if you'll get up early that will help you for your body to have better health right obviously i get up around 6 6:30 or 7 o'clock even in winter in uh, summer i will usually uh, wake up i mean i mean uh, before 6 o'clock right so you should do that you should do exercise right so what should be your plan time table for preparation i must say that uh, you must study 3 hours in the early morning right and uh, in between 1 hour give gap at least 5 or 6 minutes and in between 5 or 6 minutes gap you can take warm water in winter right and uh, you can have some snacks also right you can even talk to any kid if you have in uh, in your home if you can do some kind of uh, washing uh, cloths or may you can sweeping your room you can arrange your room i mean you can do these small activities right in this way you can do you will do physical work so uh, your mind will uh, get refreshed i mean it, within one uh, one hour gap you can do that right and uh, in the evening the same thing you can do that right 6 hours study pro with proper concentration is enough to crack any examination not only rrbj it's not that much difficult 
but yes you have to study six hours with proper concentration that is that is what i wanted to tell you you can study more it is on you but yes one thing is pretty clear if you wanted to crack community examination then you should practice questions having knowledge what exactly saying i was i was saying in the last video tutorial if you're having knowledge it will help you to teach if it will help you to understand things right it will not help you that much as much if you will practice questions to crack competitive examination if you want to crack competitive examination you have to practice questions there is only one way which will put you on the top in competitive examination that is you should know how to use those formulas those facts to crack or to solve the question and that thing you will get if you practice questions lot of questions right now most important thing is now from where you should practice questions you should not study beyond syllabus because here you are not doing research if you want to do research to mtech and then do phd from iit in india you can go for uh, go to singapore and nsu i think and you can also go to mit and there are many universities you should go there because they are i mean there are very less people those are interested in this if you are interested go there why you are preparing for rbje right well now let's come come back to the topic you must first solve few questions of any basic book right if you are preparing for general science then you should solve 10th class related i mean ntsc questions you can solve ntsc national talent search examination i mean those are studying in 10th class they write this examination that's a good examination i must say that right first second you can also solve few questions of rbj previous year because the syllabus the pattern has been changed so you have to think like that so you must solve ssc previous year questions you can solve esc previous year question even you can solve k previous year question but for cvt2 not for cvt1 because in cvt2 you are going to get virtual calculator right that means why they are providing virtual calculator because they will give you numerical problems where you have to use virtual calculator to calculate i mean those questions but this same time you will see there are 150 questions you are going to get and you will have only 120 minutes that means time management will matters a lot that's why what i was say i was saying practice will matter to solve any problem i mean uh, to crack this examination to solve any problem right so those are directly proportional you can solve problem faster the probability of getting selected in the examination will be much more than if you will solve question uh, with i mean if you solve question uh, with less speed right i hope you are getting me so what exactly i am trying to say to you it's on you have to make your own schedule because what i am sharing with you it's just an idea nothing else it's average behavior i'm not talking about any exceptional things it's really simple you can follow this right and there are two more things i would like to tell you one thing the revision if you'll do revision then you will prepare much better remember my dear revision is backbone of your study if you'll do revision proper revision nobody can beat you doing proper revision and practice is these two ways will help you to crack any competitive examination so rvg is not exceptional for that you can consider this examination in this case also all right guys so guys i hope i have covered all the things yeah i would like to tell you two more important things right those are prepare your short notes this will help you at the end to do revision now how you should prepare your short notes do file doing revision if you'll do revision topics you will come to know in which topic you are really good don't prepare uh, don't put those things in the short notes put those things only in which you are stuck in or you are facing problem to remember or recall those things so these things will come to know or you will come to know about these things when you will prepare i mean when you will practice question that yes this is where i am stuck in and knowing that thing and working on that thing to overcome from that problem is the real helpful thing for uh, for any aspirants if you can follow these things and uh, if you can implement what i have shared with you i'm really uh, sure that you are going to get success in cvt1 that is for sure right and the same pattern you can follow in case of cvt2 
right i hope this video will help you right again uh, actually i was i i'm, I'm definitely tell you i was uh, looking for creating this video uh, one or two days back many of you requesting on facebook to create videos at least for a status in english so i hope this video will help you thanks for watching thank you very much guys share with this video like this video if you have any question you can comment below i will try to create videos for you right and one more thing with good news why i'm telling you this thing at the end because i know there are very less people they can able to watch this video for so long it's been 15 minutes i have been talking right so why i'm telling you this thing if you have any question regarding knowing any topic in any topic you are facing problem you can comment below i'll create i'll try to create i cannot promise you but because that i don't have that much time i have to handle a lot of things right but yes i can uh, i can uh, i can try to create a video tutorial on that topic just tell me topic name i'll try to create a video tut tutorial on that topic in english not in hindi that's why you can understand right so guys thanks for watching thank you very much and see you soon in my next lesson till then bye bye stay happy and keep preparing i hope this video help uh, will help you to prepare better and crack this examination best of luck guys bye bye